rotations are tight. You're grouping properly. I mean, you can even stay reactionary to it because you've got that Estus with that uh, with that uh, blessing of the moon goddess there. You can just heal up your team. Uh, you don't really have to worry about those engagements or being caught out of position as long as you guys are grouped properly. So it's going to be very exciting here. We are starting, though, match one meta taking on the Black Bulls. Let's see, man. Again, this this is going to be a hype one, right? We already know how Mikasa performed on the Yeeb, on the Xavier, Sirius as well, on the Clint against BTK. But now they're kind of forced into an uncomfortable position, right? Mikasa playing on that Valentina. Brody as well. Let's see as the battle for the first Litho Wanderer commences here in the mid lane. Topside River Howl already jumping in a little bit aggressively onto Loaf, dishing out a little bit more damage. A six is there to provide the support. Howl gets this for free with the Retribution and the Black they don't really commit for it right they just they just let it go they go back but this is the pressure that Valentina has in lane so much damage early on yeah, and I, and I feel like we're gonna, it's gonna kind of, until you get that anti heal, it's gonna con be a continual pressure as, uh, as she's kind of starting to get revved up, as Estus starts, heal starts ticking for more and more health. And then once he gets that ultimate, uh, it, it's gonna be, you're gonna need a plan. You're not just gonna be able to dive into meta right now. And we do see a little bit of aggravation being put here onto this turret. Oh, Mikasa taking so much turret aggro there as Bomi goes up for the knockoff strike, but doesn't go for the kill just yet. The first blood will be connected onto Loaf there, but yeah, KLQT gets out of the battle mirror image. Very crisp positioning as well. Maybe a little bit of an overextension from meta, but look in the mid lane. Howl looking for a trade here, trying to go for that kill onto Paul. Will not find it. Black Bulls strike first blood. I very much like that. Able to pick up the kill onto Mikasa, but not forcing the fight. They disengaged, mm -hmm. got away, and then just kind of played it safe and now are going to go ahead and try to uh, get some uh, get some damage onto this turtle. See, with the turtle being started up, Meta, do they choose to respond? Annie already in a position where they can go for something, but the retribution was used onto the purple buff. That's how without the retribution, and that's a free turtle going to the hands of the black bulls. Not actually that free though, because Meta, they decide to go and trade it for the turret in the bottom side. That's gonna be a lot of gold actually placed onto the hands of Sirius. Full turret plating. Yeah, absolutely a, a great uh, thought process by Meta. Not able to get the turtle. That decision was made early. So they went ahead, pushed bottom, got a tower for that. And those are the types of trades that I've been talking about that you want to make if you're not going to be able to get turtle. Either trying to get a gank in the other lane or, a, mm -hmm. I mean, a, a turret's even better than that. Yeah, I mean, with the Estes, right, they don't really have a lot of kill kill pressure, but again, they just use that to clear out the waves. They don't care about the damage coming in from Kill QT. Picks up a turret for free, and they're already rotating. They're doing a lane swap here. Is in the bottom side. How? Gonna get ganked on. Low goes in for wild charges. That's the knockout strike to pin him down. Just pick up the kill and also convert onto the objective. Meanwhile, top side, Mikasa finds a trade. Annie rotates down below. Will be able to clear out the minion waves, and Paul is going to be stuck under that turret. Low has already started his walk over to that top side. It doesn't seem like Meta will be able to, you know, execute on this dive with the help of Loaf, but I might be wrong. <laughs> Let's see. Wall is there. Loaf trying to defend, and that's the enhanced chain to clear out the waves. The Black Bulls defend that top side. Yeah, I mean, both these teams are, are doing a, a, such a crisp job of they have a plan, uh, they execute it, and then they move on. They don't linger. If something messes up, they're not going to, oh, we do have, <laughs> Mikasa might be getting caught there, is able to dash out of the way of Paul there from those chains uh, and still get the safety, but six taken down off camera. Yeah. Uh Estes, very, very easy to pick off here, especially on the Paquito, right? Once you get that knockout strike, it is going to be... It's, it's a good setup. You CC him, unable to go for those heals. It is going to be tough for Six. He, he even used the sprint uh, earlier to try to get out of the, that bomby range from uh, the jabs and from the knockout strikes. But it seems like without the help of Six, the Black Bulls will have control of the turtle once again. Mikasa Doe going in. How with that heavy spin, we'll be able to just pin him down for the damage to come through from meta as now that's gonna be the turtle reclaimed by meta they pick up the turtle without the retribution and the black bulls have no response just yet mikasa has the wild charge will he choose to use it right now he doesn't use it just yet torn apart memory comes in from sirius with that flicker under the turret and they will be able to find another kill on sam qt equal kills on the board
Yeah, and only four minutes in, and we're starting to see the issues that you have with that Valentina pick, the amount of damage that she can put on. And unfortunately, Loaf kind of dodged. Oh, and he's in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, Jukes, and he's still able to run away. Has the split. He is going for more HP. Might be able to turn this around onto Kale, who has the Black Mirror image now. It is Bomi who jumps in, and that's the enhanced chain by Paul to finish the job off. Top side, though, they do lose a turret. So again, meta, just so clean on how they're playing the map, how they're getting objectives and converting onto them. But in the mid lane, Bomi once again, almost just burst six down. Mikasa goes for the wild charge. Lop is on in the campy CC. They're unstoppable. Mikasa goes for more, and he'll be able to pick up another kill on to Paul. Once again, Meta, every time the enemy team takes, they take back. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter. It, you almost would think it might be on purpose. Like, they're kind of baiting in these uh, these fights where they lose somebody just so that they can take another tower on the opposite side of the map. It's um, it's a very crisp gameplay, especially once you see it happening. You're like, oh, man, they took a kill on another engagement here at mid. Oh, Bomi just gets bursted down by Sirius. The hand enhanced chain though gets two. Loaf goes up a wild charge, and that's the falling star moon as well. But they're just too sustainable. Kill QT. He does no damage against this team composition. Again, the heals just keep coming through, and the Black Bulls with their dive team fight style composition will literally not be able to do anything there in the mid lane. That's another turret picked up, and this is what we mentioned. This is very blacklist-ish. Uh, a very blacklist this uh play style man yeah I, I, and that's what i was talking about with this reaction as soon as they go as soon as they get jumped on with black balls as long as they're kind of neat and organized and together six is going to be able to top off the entire team and give them the sustain to be able to last through these fights and now we're starting to see that i think that might be the first turtle for meta uh even though i mean those last losing those last turtles didn't really affect them too much with how they've been macroing in this match Oh man, Sirius there is, was able to actually flicker out of the wild charge. He goes for stun, low caught there, and that Sirius still able to dish out so much damage. One HP, gonna get taken down, but buys enough time for Mikasa to look for that trade. Bomi is low, he needs to recall, he needs to back up, and Mikasa, look at him, he just, he's just been chasing him down, forcing him to recall the manual way. Walk back to base, buddy. Yeah, and right now, uh, Mikasa already has that Clock of Destiny and Enchanted Talisman. Uh, yeah, we can see here in the replay, look at this as they go in, just getting topped off, all the damage, not doing enough to meta here, even with that Blazing Duet, how able to get out of the, uh, able to get topped off by six there and a very great positioning by him. Oh man, when you deal that much damage onto the Roamer as a Valentina, you know it's gonna be tough for the Black Bulls. They can't even look for any engages at this point, right? They lose out on that burst. The burst does not go through the sustainability that the Estes provides so far in this match. Even though Six has been picked up three times, it just it hasn't been working out. Again, that damage from Mikasa, man. Taking out half HP off a of Loaf and Paul. Bomi goes over the knockout strike onto Six. There's still a lot of HP there for Six to go in. He uses the ultimate heavy spin now. Gonna be able to pin Sam QT down. Meanwhile, top side turret taken down. Bomi is going to fall as well. 4v5, and it doesn't even matter. Any order to turret. Mikasa too. They just don't care about turrets. Haldo taken low. Gonna get taken down. And that's Six to follow up as well on that. Uh, on that death and that's a two for one trade but again meta every single time they lose out the kills on kills but they get turrets yeah and that's what you need to be worried about too i mean every single time they engage at this point if you're black bulls and an engagement happens you just need to look at the map because it's not it seems like that's kind of just a, a ploy and you see here uh, from this replay just the two kills bomby going ahead and getting taken down there by the damage from mikasa so it's not even just the healing you need to worry about at this point with that valentina it's the immense amount of damage and even though they did lose two there they were able to pick up the tower but that lord does go over that that first one going over to Black Bulls. Now we're, now we're seeing some fight, right? Now we're seeing Black Bulls do this exact same thing that Meta has been doing to them the entire game. They're picking up these objectives and they're actually able to um, maneuver over to the Lord, knowing that Six was down, knowing that Annie was down. Meta really couldn't look for these team fights and Bomi's already looking for more here. Sirius finds him, Mikasa there all alone, <laughs> but will be able to dash out. He has the wild charge, so this is very dangerous for the Black Bulls, but Ninth minute in, let's take a look at the items first. 
Yeah, we do see that Death Blade of Despair and Malefic Roar has been finished by Sirius there. And uh, on the other side, Golden Staff and Demon Hunter Sword being picked up by Cal Cutie. But we do have this Lord crashing in right now. Oh my god, that enhanced hit and the knockoff strike is still not enough, man. Kale QT, he thought it was a good time to go for the follow up with the Battle Mirror image. He just sprinted in with the Blazing Duet, but again, that's where this Estes shines. When you think that the enemy members are vulnerable, there's always that, that Estes from behind healing everyone up, and no one loses HP at all. The Black Bulls with the Lord unable to really capitalize on that. And again, serious, he gets chunk but it's all good man six is there yeah not not even just not losing health uh, they do go down but he's so patient with those heals that he waits to almost bait the enemy in to let, like yeah they're getting low this is the time to attack and then six comes in with that ult and starts topping them up and, and then for a, a brief moment they're just not taking any damage at all Look at the way they're playing the map, right? This is just very intelligent by meta. They they know that currently they can't really um, put pressure onto that mid lane. Wait a minute, Bomby, wait, he goes in, in, in the bush again. It's face checking and he gets punished for it, man. Meanwhile, Mikasa gets immobilized, but again, this is the thing. This is the thing with Estes. You can play this aggressively. It's does, it doesn't really matter as long as you have that maneuverability to get back to your Estes. Look at Mikasa. He's playing under the turret, just proxying the wave, getting that Terrify onto Paul. As Annie comes in, he dishes out the damage, forcing Paul to flicker out. And Annie, all he loses is one HP bar. They get the turret. This is the pressure that they've been waiting to just put on that mid turret, right? Once Bombie gets taken down, this is just another free turret, perhaps for meta. But no, the Black Bull is still able to defend for now. 30 seconds seconds on the Lord. Yeah, I and mean, this is what I like about them too. They are, they don't kind of linger around. They are going to go ahead and try to push this lane up at the top. Not sure if they're really looking for an engagement here right now. May oh my gosh. What? Mikasa goes in with a wild charge. 5-3 and the instant follow up there from the team. You know, man, you know, it, it really just seems like they, they're not even communicating, right? It feels like the team just knows. They know when Mikasa wants to make those crazy plays and they follow up on it. it that felt like a 1v3 kind of play. Mikasa dealt, I think, 80% of the damage alone as they siege down a turret in that top side. Base turret taken down. Super minions going to be spawning next wave as they, again, they don't get too feisty. They get don't get too aggressive. They fall back, falling back, going for the Lord and Sirius somehow on the Brody getting a solo kill against Sam QT. That's something you don't see every day, man. Yeah, I don't really think all the way here. We're going to take a look at this flicker, a wild charge by Mikasa, taking down three members of Black Bulls here. Oh, it is so much damage as the rest of meta just collapses onto them. At this point, it's not even fair, right? Mikasa is 1v4. He's 1v9, bro, at this point. Like, Mikasa, we said it. He only he's only shown the Yeeve, he's only shown the Xavier. How good is he on other heroes? Apparently, it's it, all of the other heroes, they're just hidden. They're just hidden, you know? Mikasa, dude, poggers. That's the only thing I, I need to say, right? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they were just showing the Eve there. Maybe just uh, <laughs> that was him being merciful for the rest of those matches. Oh, he's, not, he's not using these other mages that he's apparently a monster on right now. And right now we do have this Luminous Lord coming in. But with this team, we have all we have the mid lane starting to sink in. Not sure if this is the fight that they want. Oh, Mikasa taking so much turret aggro, will be punished there. Shutdown picked up by KLQT, not the member you want to give that gold over to. Meanwhile, Sam trying to look for that re-engage once again onto how onto Sirius, but they are actually able to maneuver around it. That's going to be the Lord taken down at the top side with the help of KLQT and Bomby, but this is so much time and resources put onto that top side. That's Annie jumping on under the turret onto Paul. Now, low going to be the target. Sirius dishing out a lot of damage, but in that top side, it is still Bomby going up against the Lord finally taking it down but they've lost the mid lane turret they might lose out on the bottom side but now it's gonna be meta jumping backwards and qt looking for falling star moon and that's the engage coming from wild charges kale jumps in with a blazing duet finding two that's six taken down and that is a disaster annie taken very low how trying to recover from this trying to help him down pinning kale down but man it's only a kill traded for the three kills that was picked up by black bulls again meta did pick up the turrets but i I don't think this is worth it. This was definitely a little bit too aggressive from Meta.
Yeah, definitely a little too aggressive and maybe a little uncharacteristic as uh, from the first half of this match. Probably getting a little bit too eager there. You see, like, I mean, they had two members down already and just trying to take on all five members of Black Bulls. Kind of a mistake there. Even with Hal able to pick up the kill onto Kale Cutie, not really a worthy trade there. And, I mean, I, I, they've been backing up. They've been safe for most of it, uh, most of this match right now. I feel like maybe they were kind of... Uh, overextending from what they had. They thought they had a bigger lead than they did. And right now they've almost been tied back up to the Black Bulls. This is where it gets gets dangerous, right? Early on into the mid, mid stages of the game, it was still good for meta. Even though they're not taking these good trades in the team fights, they're getting poked down. They always still have six to just sustain them back up. The thing is, now that we're entering the 15th minute of the game, the Black Bulls, they'll certainly have the, um, some dom, uh, dominant ices. Maybe, uh, yeah, they're going to have a lot of anti-region. Um, we're going to see it right here. The Dominance Ice already picked up by Loki. We also see a Dominance Ice picked up by Sam. So again, two anti-regen items as Bomby picks up the turret into the, mat, into the mid lane. Evolve Lord, not just here yet. It's still the Enhanced Lord. They're looking for it. They're going for it instantly here, bursting it down. But the Black Bulls, they are looking for the contest. Bomby in that bush. Is Meta going to reset? Meanwhile, though, Annie just dishes out so much damage onto KLQT, able to zone him away. And just like that, that's a free Lord going to the hands of Meta. And again, when you think that they made a mistake, they still can go back on that discipline route, right? They played so well with Annie just flanking and the others going on to the Lord. The decision making is sublime by Meta. Yeah, Annie just diving deep into the line to zone out by herself, zone out all five members of a Black Bull. They were pretty much chasing her around the jungle while the rest of Meta able to pick up this Lord. So, I mean, a, a, a few mistakes, but then they get right back at it in, in such a dominating fashion as well. Omi used the knockout strike there in the bottom side, and now that's going to be a lot of room put on for the side of meta. That's going to be how zoning Paul away. Blaze the win comes in with the win of nature as well, but Mikasa burst Bromi down. He's still there with the help of Six, just sustaining everyone back up. Sam's going to be the target right now as he gets knocked up. He's going to get stunned down, and he picks up the kill. Paul looking for compensation, goes on to Six, but meta again, 1-0, leading the series, still have yet to drop a 